guys, welcome back to another video. This is the third upload of the day. Um and in this video we'll be sh I'll be showing you guys the new spotlight sim players and the new triple threat offline rewards. So you wanna know why I'm late guys? Because it has been an hour and a half. I had to wait an hour and a half for for people to actually pull these packs and actually pack these players. Because literally I've been waiting here for so long and finally people have packed the players. So first thing, I don't know why 2k does this. Why have they not updated it yet? I mean, it's really annoying because they should have updated it by now. However, we do know who the cards are. Um, So the first person, uh, I'm not going to say uh, their name because it's... It's not a bad word, but I don't think you're allowed to say it on YouTube. So uh, I'll just say his name is Dim Dim Barnett. There we go. Um, he's six foot four, and uh, you guys should know him as the person that has the worst jump shot in the game. I feel like he's already terrible. He's got 96 three, 90 driving dunk, 92 ball handle, 97 speed, 95 perimeter defense, 81 interior defense, 94 skill. And he's got great badges, but he's got a terrible release. I feel like 2K are just trying to annoy us now. First, they release us an Isaiah Thomas, who they know is short. Mark Aguirre, who they know is short. And the thing they do is, like, they're laughing at us. Basically, they release cards that are really short and are incredible. Like, why? So, yeah, Dick Barnett. Oh, my God. Uh, sorry. Dim Barnett is terrible. His release is, he's literally got the worst release in the game, guys. If you do not know what his release is, go to my career, uh, switch to that release, and you'll see. And the other person is Terry Cummings. So, um, I'm going to check his height quickly, guys, because I don't know it yet. Oh, he's six foot nine. Uh, so, he's... 89 three pointer, 96 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 90 speed, 89 perimeter defense, 94 interior defense, 74 skill, and then nice badges. But they've just like, they've literally made the card that's got a terrible release better than the card that's actually alright. So triple threat offline rewards are just basic. They're going to be the same vault again, only one token. They're boring. Ah, <sighs> 2K, man. 2K really are annoying. But we are going to move on to the new Spotlight Sims. Like, the Spotlight Sim players. I mean, it's rubbish, because literally... Guys, if you want to pack... Have the if you want to have a chance of packing these cards, you have to buy VC. You can only get them through the Spotlight Sim Super Packs. You can't... No, no, no. You can't go here. So now, basically, they're forcing you to buy VC. Which is terrible. You need VC, like, wow. But we're going to move on to the cards. I hope they haven't disappeared, because I'm actually going to cry. Um, We're going to start from the bottom. So, first card is Diamond, Thanasis, and Tedekumpo. If you do not know, this is Giannis' brother. 6'6", six six, he's got 26 badges, catch and shoot, quick draw, clams, and simulator. He's got gold, unblockable, dead eye, intercepted diamond. He's got range extend on gold, which isn't the best. Six foot six, so you can really compare him to the Walter Davis. He's got 95 driving lip, driving lip and a 98 driving dunk, which is really nice. Shooting is pretty uh, trash. Um, ball handling is nice. Defense is really nice. Rerunning is nice, and speed is really nice. But realistically, is he worth it? No. You can get a Walter Davis who has a way better release, can dunk pretty much as well, same ball handling, same defense, he just can't block the ball and can't pl and has got nine less interior defense. He's got he has he has got like minus fifteen rebounding and like minus two speed. So Walter Davis, the better player here. So first one is kind of an L, but these cards actually are pretty decent that they've released. And I'll give them props for that, but the thing that they've made you pay VC for is a bit rubbish. Then we've got Jordan Poole. I can tell YBC is going crazy and I can tell Flight is going crazy. Flight probably doesn't even know who it is actually. Uh, so we've got Jordan Poole, 6'6", six six, another shooting guard. 
So what? So they've literally just gave us two diamond six foot six shooting guards slash small forwards in the same promo. Great. Twenty seven Hall of Fame. He's gonna have range extender, green machine chase on like clamps. And if a day, whoa, whoa, no, what? Intimidate and deceptor diamond. Rain gold range. Jordan Bourne was really bad in real life, huh? 92 driving lap, 90 driving dunk, 88 mid range, 92 three. Really nice ball handling, average defense, average rebounding, and nice speed. But same thing, like I said, with Thanasis. Water Davis is the same card, but is like literally better. So, not worth it again. Literally just the same as um, Thanasis and Tutukumpo. This one I'm excited for. Bob Sura, guys. I do not know much about him because I haven't played a lot, but I know that he had um, an emerald and he also had an ameth uh, ruby that evened up to amethyst, but I don't have that ruby because I haven't finished domination. Well, we've got an emerald there. We've got 35 Hall of Fame's 19 gold. It's going to have range extender. Angle Book of Range Extender, Quick Draw Dimer, Clamps, Interceptor. By the way, guys, the reason I'm going through this quickly is that so that I don't spend that much time just looking at badges because that's a bit boring, guys. So, yeah. Unpluckable tight handles, downhill, intimidator, pick pocket, pick dodger, corner specialist. So nice badges. 94 driving here, 95 driving dunk, 89 mid range, 95 three, 94 ball handling, really nice defense, not bad rebounding, and really, really good speed. This card is going to be an absolute god. Is he worth it? what he's going for now? No. But to be honest, no one's even packing these cards. No one's even ripping these packs. So realistically, he's not going to be worth it for a long time. And then we get onto the Opal. Oh no, we get we've got another thing about him. Cliff Robinson. So he's a power forward, small forward. Wait. Let me just check something. Wasn't he on? Wait, no. I swear. I swear. Why have they changed his position? I mean, so we've got, on like, another power, we've got another, like, center at small forward, so, I guess, um, I don't know. Uh, so he's got 6 for 10, which is really nice at the small forward. We could compare him to Fell. Fell Lacompo, both for Hall of Fames. He's very, he looks, he was already, he's already looking very similar to Fell Bailey. He's got a range extender, quick draw. Rim protector, hot start clamps, intercept and intimidate, quick press step downhill. He's got gold badge, rebound chaser. <laughs> Hand for days, unpluckable dead eye. Hot and hunter, pick dodger, pick pocket. Really nice badges. Really nice driving. Really, really nice shooting. Not bad ball handling. Incredible defense, incredible rebounding. Incredible speed. Guys, this card is incredible. He is literally a better Fell Bailey, except he's one inch shorter. But he's, first of all, he weighs more. Seven more Hall of Fame badges. He's a better driver, a better shooter, a better defender, a better rebounder, a better... S like he's literally a better card. He's better than that card. So, Cliff Robinson, absolute god. And then we've got Stephen Jack... Stephen Jack... I can't say his name. Stephen Jackson? I don't know, but I've been hearing that this guy's literally the the Opal Cam Reddish. So it's, but he's six for eight, forty-two Hall of Fames, of course. He's got clams, range extender, quick draw. He's got pogo stick, hot start, downhill, hot on onto quick first step times, unblockable. Did I hand for days? Rewind chase intimidator, defensive leader, pick dodge, pick pocket dimer. And yeah, okay. 96 drive lip, 95 driving dunk, 95 mid range, 92 3, 91 ball handling, incredible defense, like really incredible, R incredible rebounding for a shooting guard, and really nice speed, really nice lateral quickness. So that's a really nice card. So, guys, I'm gonna be honest, this is actually a d really good promo from 2K. I really like the cards they, that they've released, however. You know two problems. You have to pay VC. 
So no one's going to be ripping these packs. But yeah. No, it's not, it's not just that. It's not just that. Don't worry. Also, um, they've released two six for six diamond shooting guards. They've released three shooting guards. Why? But I'll tell you all the cards that are worth it. Uh, Fanatis is not worth it. Pick yourself up. Walter Davis, Cam Reddish. Um, Jordan Poole is actually really nice. So he's maybe like Walter Davis is better than Cam Reddish. But still, both are really good. Worth picking up. Cliff Robinson, literally better Fell Bailey. So if you love Fell Bailey, I don't really. You can pick him up. And Stephen Jackson. Stephen Jackson a better Cam Reddish. So really, this is a really nice promo. However, I think they could have done it better because they messed up with the VC. And why have they still not updated the vault? I don't know, guys. I've literally, I'm, I don't even play this game anymore, guys. I'm gonna be honest. Tomorrow I'll be, I'll be bringing out a video on why this game is broken and why I've decided that I may only play offline gamers for the rest of the year and no unlimited or super fit online. And that will be in tomorrow's video, because I'm going to be explaining every single thing that's annoying you. That not, it's not a hate video, but I'm going to be talking about all the mistakes that 2K has made in the past like two weeks. Uh, the where the re the place I get this from is like Phantoms, um, and then I'm also going to talk about how sweaty online is. But yeah, uh, guys, remember stay tuned for tomorrow because we will have new content. Seeing as these Prime Series Super Packs go out tomorrow, like run out tomorrow, and then Flash Packs um on Friday, so we're gonna get of course big content on Friday like we do every time, and then we get Prime Super Packs gone. I think actually what's gonna happen is tomorrow we're gonna get um Buzzbeats on. Well, actually no, because they normally do Buzzbeats on Tuesday. It's gonna be. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I feel like it's gonna be Buzzer Beetle or Prime. I was thinking they were gonna do the Moment Super Pack this week. But come on, if they do more Super Packs, that's just so rubbish. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and peace.